All right, what's going on YouTube? T-Tour is back here for another video. <clears throat> I know it's been a while since you guys had a video, so um, got a lot of lot of big plans coming for my car, and I'm trying to venture off and capture, um, you know, videos of my other friends' cars and other things that we're working on. So today we're going to be working on my buddy's EcoBoost that you guys have seen previously. You know, we've done Dino Days with it. We've done the headlights. We've done the exhaust. The uh, all the performance stuff we've done on it. So if you're if you're a truck guy, um, you're gonna like today's video because what we're gonna do is we're gonna be replacing this front bumper with uh, with one that we got um, that Jeremy got off the internet and then we had it custom bottle wrapped. So I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. All right, so Jeremy is going to uh, he's gonna bring the uh, the grill out of the box right now. I'm excited to see it. I've only seen it in pictures. Oh damn, that looks nice. That's the Ford Raptor grill, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Man, they did a good job with that. Yeah, dude, that looks sick. That looks super sick. So, yep, we're going to be putting in this new uh, Ford Raptor uh, grill and taking that old one out. Man, that looks really good. So this was like a solid silverish, dark black color before it got wrapped. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks freaking sick. I can't wait to take this off. Hopefully, it doesn't take us too long to take that out. Maybe an hour. Hopefully, then we gotta wire up those lights. Shouldn't be too bad. So, <clears throat> so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, I'm super excited to see how this is. I get just as excited when I work on my friend's stuff as much as I do on my car. And should have. Let's see. I ordered an exhaust. It's on the truck for delivery, so it should be here within the next hour. So hopefully we may be able to catch the FedEx guy coming and delivering my exhaust for my uh, for my Civic. All right, so now let's get on to the install. All right, I, just, I forgot to mention you guys, this is for a 2009 and 2014 F-150. So if you're interested in this, um, I'll have the link uh, down below in the description. How much did you get for this? 133. $133 shipped to the door and then however much it costs to get a mono wrap. So I think that was awesome. All right, so obviously the first thing you wanna do is pop the hood. We're gonna take these 10 millimeter bolts out here here, these three, there's some right there. And then obviously on the same side, you got one right there where my finger's pointing. Well, focus, okay. And then you have you know, the other three right there. And then that's gonna allow the grill to get loose. And then once we get all those taken loose, I'll show you all how we're gonna actually take the grill out. It should, it should be a super simple process to, to drop the, um, the actual grill itself. So, I, hey, show them, hey, point at the ones we have to take off. So I stand corrected. You do not have to remove these. You have to remove the ones here, and then these one, two, three, four there. Like I said, there's one on this side, and then there's one on this side, and now the, and then you gotta remove one here, and remove one there, which you can't see because of the lighting, but the grill, as you can see, is already loose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the hood down, and then we literally just have to get under here and pry this off to get the grill out. I'll show you that here in just a second. Light to find the All right, so here we go. Uh, Jeremy now has uh, the prying tool that we're gonna use, and you see how he's gotten behind the actual grill himself. We've already popped this first tab off. It's a little hard, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. A little sketchy, because you think you're gonna break something, but you'll hear it pop. How many are we popping off, what, four? Yeah, four. There you go. It's either the sound of breaking or the sound. Oh, yes, it came out. I can see it right there. That it's out. Go down. Keep going down if you can. There you go. How many got left? One or two? I think I got this one right Bring it more towards me. I'd come like maybe like right there. Yeah, now try popping it. It seems like maybe one or two right here is not fully off all the way. Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say yank on it just a little bit. I think it just went right back in. Yeah. And I'm gonna yank on it right here in the middle. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, you mother. All right, get that one back out. There you go. Now, there's someone right there. Okay, I'll make sure that doesn't go back Yeah, hey, I got my fingers on it. There you go. Well, we only broke one. 
It's okay. It's okay. I doubt this. Really, there you go. Boom. All right, set that. You got it. Oh wow. <laughs> let's see. Let's see that. There you go. All right, so that was, that was kind of a little bit of a pain, but we got it all out. But I think we're you want to clean this? Yeah, definitely. Or no? Yeah, no. Definitely. So this is the only one that we broke, so just go ahead and pry that little tab out, and then we'll get the new ones in. So yeah, so if you're going to take this off, you have one, two, three, four, you have five of those clips you need to get. And I highly recommend getting one of these trim tool pieces and prying it up. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to take off this grill brace right here. It's got six T20s that you need to take off. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna transfer that brace onto the uh, or to the next grill that you're gonna be putting on. So six, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, six T20 um, bolts that you need to take off. Get her done, boy. Damn, look at the backside. Right. What the? F All right, so we have successfully now uh, transferred this grill brace. Not sure exactly what it does, but so like I said, you just come over here. Six screws, T20s, take them off of there, and then move it over here. And you know, as you can see, it's now back on there. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna plug all the lights up, and we're gonna wire it into one of the daytime running lights, so the amber lights, and the actual grill come on uh, whenever the truck's you know running or in park. What we're gonna do now is actually put the oh, grill. Did you, did you scratch it? Yeah, I got scratched right there. Hmm. Well. We might be able to. I mean, nothing we can do about that. So. No, just put it up there. It got scratched a little bit. That's all right. I mean, who knows? I mean, it might have got scratched one day eventually. This obviously didn't want it to happen the first day. Come up with it a little bit. Are you lining the clips up? I'm trying to figure out. Are the wires gonna get pinched? They shouldn't. Shouldn't get pinched. Like All right, so we finally just got the uh, that the grill back on. That was probably the hardest part. It took us freaking forever. Some of the clips and the screws didn't want to line up, but here's here's what it looks like roughly. We don't have everything secured and fastened, and we definitely don't have the lights uh, finished. We got some fingerprints up here, but once we get done with the entire project, we'll uh, we'll clean everything up. So I'll give you guys a nice little pan view of what it looks like. I think it looks freaking awesome. And then once we get everything uh, fastened up, of course, this won't be that loose. So we'll take a nice little step back and let you guys see what it looks like. I think it changes the entire dynamic of the front end of the of the actual truck itself. I think it looks pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and finish tightening everything up. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you guys how to wire up these three these three lights here, daytime running lights. Okay, so just to catch you all up to speed, we went ahead and wired the um, the amber lights we'll, that we'll show you here in just a minute to the DRL. Open the door so I can show them real quick that the that these three three little orange lights work okay so you see those are coming on uh we don't have any zip ties now but here in the in the future jeremy and i uh, after we get back from lunch we're gonna go get some zip ties zip all this up we actually extended the wires that came through here and like i said we took them straight in so go ahead and shut the hood and let's see uh see what the bumper looks like with the lights on too bad it's not a little bit darker out so you can see oh yeah that looks good see those three little amber lights open the door again jerry yeah, I think that looks good. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks good. So yeah, that's what the Ford Raptor bumper looks like on the uh, on the F-150. Was it, Jeremy, 2009 to 2014? And if you guys are interested in this um, this grill also, I'll have it down in the in the description below. A link so you guys can click on it pop the hood i want to just run over everything we did real quick yeah i think that thing looks mean open it up all right so just to quickly go over what we did um you have to remove uh one two three four five six 
seven and then eight nine bolts and then you got to get a prime tool like i showed you earlier and just pry the front grill off and then yeah and then it, then it actually you know literally just comes right off this was super super easy install the hardest part we had was actually getting um the clips from this grill to line back up with the hood it just they didn't want to line up correctly there were some there were some bolts in the back that you had to hit that had to put a, a little 10 millimeter nut on and that was just giving us a hard time but you would be surprised how much um faster the hood opens with this grill versus the actual factory ford grill it was actually super heavy and this is actually a lot lighter and i really like how the honeycomb here allows for more airflow and it's you know i don't know i just like the openness of how big it is what do you got to say about it jeremy looks good i like it yeah are you excited yeah let's go let's go nice all right so jeremy's just going to clean off our fingerprints because we did get a little dirty but yeah overall Man, I think that, I just love the way that it changed the entire appearance of the truck. Look at that. Man, I love these daytime running lights. I think they look awesome. It's just the lighting in here is super dark, but, oh man, look at that. Yeah, that looks freaking amazing. Looks super good. Pull the lighting. Nice, nice, nice. There you have it, man. So if you got an 09 to 2014 F-150 and you're interested in this Raptor bumper, I'll have a link in the description. All right, so if you enjoyed today's video, please leave it a like. And if you guys would be interested in more, you know, truck content like this, please comment down below. And if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Peace. Rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling.